Head coach of NT Thunder, Xavier Clark, just out of a loss against Sydney University, where do you think it went wrong for you today? Uh, look, I thought early in the game, I think both teams' pressure was absolutely fantastic. The tackle pressure and contested the ball, where they exposed us was just on the outside. You know, with, um, you know, looking at the champion data stats, I think they had you know, 89 more uncontested possessions than us. You know, so that hurts any football team. Um, they had 100 more disposals than us as well. And, um, so when you're giving the, the, the footy up at a, at a stoppage, when you're getting your hands on it, um, it makes it hard if you're going to chase on the outside all day. And, and they were fantastic, you know, Sydney. You know, they, they moved the ball well. They, they, they're well trained, um, and they got a good mixture of players. So full credit to them, and, and they exposed us, and, and it showed on the scoreboard as well. One win, one loss to start 2016. Some very exciting young players coming through for you, and a few weren't here uh, against Sydney University. How pleased are you with the way things are progressing early in the season? Yeah, look, we our hand was forced a little bit round one. We played a lot of a lot of the young boys, and they, and they played really well you know, in front of a home crowd um, against an AFL reserves team. And uh, we lost three, um, you know, to the 18s who played Vic Metro today, and and that's more for their personal development to go and play. Um, against Vic Metro in Melbourne, um, you know, would they made a difference to the side? I'm, I'm not too sure. Um, but look, I'm, I'm pleased. You know, our program's set up to be able to give those young kids an opportunity to play senior NFL footy. And um, look, my, young Michael Mummery, you know, he's only 15. He he played today. He's got a lot of footy to go ahead of him. He's got a lot of, lot to learn. Uh, he kicked a nice goal in the end there. But um, you know, we'll continue to manage his his game time. Round three, up against Aspley, back at home. What do you expect from Aspley and what does the week look like for the Thunder? Yeah, they're, they're a great side. We, we, we love playing against Aspley. We've, uh, we've built a great rivalry with them over the last couple of years now. And, um, you know, we've played them three times in the last three years since I've coached, so we're up to about nine matches each, um, including that grand final last year. But I've watched them closely. They've recruited well. Um, you know, they seem to get better, I think, each year which you have to do as teams do in the NEFL. But it's going, to be a heck, it's going to be a great game, I think. It's going to be a great contest. Um, we, need to, we need to get over this as quick as we can. We need to review it. There's no doubt about that. We'll, we'll do it on, on Monday night. We'll pick out the learnings from it, but we'll move on pretty quickly.